Hi, are you a student and do you want to know the basic of copyright? Then uh, in this video I'm going to give you the basic of copyright. So, title is Copyright Basic for Students. Let's start. Yeah. Hi, my name is Matis. I make videos about legal business and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about copyright, trademark and patent. If you want to know more about these things, feel free to subscribe. In this video, I'm going to talk about copyright basic for students. I'm going to show you what you need to consider when you talk about copyright. And if you're a student and you are studying at the university, what can you do and what you cannot do and why is that? I'm not going to discuss copyright in, uh, in the details. This is not a uh, course about copyright. It's just something, a video to show you the basic of the things that you need when you're doing something, especially when you're a student at the university. So, well, how does it uh, video looks like? First, we're gonna talk about the uh, ABC formula. Second, we're gonna talk about copyright. And the thing is, copyright in every country has some minor different. It comes just because of the law, but technically, it's almost the same. Thing is, we're gonna take the US uh, the law of the US as a reference, so we're going to look at the law of the US. We're going to also look at how the copyright works in the US. So, again, copyright may work a little bit different in your country, but the system is almost the same. The ABC formula applies for every country, but what's in the law, you need to look at your own country. If you do not know where to find the rules about copyright in your country, let me know, I will make a video about that or will answer your question person. So, we're gonna start. What we are going to do first is to look at the ABC formula, how it works and why it's important. And when you know how it works and why it's important, we're gonna look at the, the basic stuff about copyright. But I find it important that when you talk about intellectual property, you need to know about the ABC formula because the ABC formula is important. I'm going to show you why. So let's go to the um, whiteboard. You see this whiteboard? When you have a situation and you talk about intellectual property, you always have three things. One, two, three. What you need to need, number A, B, and then C. That's why it's called the ABC formula. What you need to know is A, you can put it as the work of the writers. It can be copyright, it can be trademark, even intellectual. It can be every intellectual property, but just remember that's the intellectual property. The thing is, when you have a right, someone has the right. Someone is the holder of the right, and that's most of the time B. So that's a person. It can be a person, but it can also be a company. Yeah. But in this case, let's say person. That's why we have a B. Can it be a person of a company. And C can be a person or a company or an entity, doesn't matter, okay, that want to use their right or use the right without your permission. You understand? So we have A, that's the right itself. B is a person or a company. C is also a person or company. But B is the holder, so the B is the owner of the copyright. And C want to use it. C can get permission from B to use it, but C can also use it without permission and B can sue C. You see why this is called the ABC formula? You always have this if you talk about intellectual property, if you talk about copyright, trademark, it doesn't matter, you always have this. And when you have this, you need to know, okay, okay what is my position? If someone uses my right without my permission, I am B, someone use my right, and then we are C. What are the rights of C? You understand? What are my rights? What can I do? Most of the time when you have a case, or when we have a case, we draw the situation, and based on the situation, we make a decision. The question is, why shouldn't you? So, when you have a situation, think about it. When you think about copyright, trademark, draw the situation. Draw, okay, this is me, this is them, this is the right. Who has it? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? The thing is, the reason I'm saying this is because 
sometimes in the law you have some exception as if the exception is saying hey in this situation people are allowed to use your work without permission then you you cannot say anything if you are B you understand and if you're a student that's really important for example if you make a work for school and you're using the intellectual property for education in most of the country that's an exception and then B cannot do anything against you because that's an exception you understand why the ABC formula is important so let's go back and uh, the importance is let's look what is intellect uh, what is copyright and what can you do with it and what, what do you need to watch out just for a student I'm gonna give you two examples if you're a student at the university sometimes you want to copy things in the book to use it in your project in the essay or anything or in your presentation the thing is the things that are written in the book are copyright protected and if you're using it for education then you have an exception and you can use it but if you're using it for commercial purposes that's another story you're not allowed to use it without permission for example if I'm not a student and I copy something from a book and I use it in my presentation for commercial purposes, the person from the book can sue me. You understand that? Okay. But if I'm a student and I use it for school for presentation, that's another story. You understand what I mean? You also have something like the fair use. I will make a video, a separate video about that. But in this video, I want to show you why you need to look at the exception but also look at the law but also look at the ABC formula when you talk about copyright so we have copyright and it's important that you know what the exceptions are okay? but also important to know what can you do with copyright so um, there's a PDF I will put it in the description where you can download it or you can download it here on the uh, here one of the sites on the on uh, on the link you can download it and you can read it you can find the basic things about um, copyright. You're gonna follow the rest of the video, the document. This is copyright based in the US. You're gonna look what is copyright and what can you do with what can be copyright protected and what cannot be copyright protected. And what are the requirements for copyright? So if you look at this, there, this is document, copyright basic, and it's, an, uh, copy, it's a document from the government of the United States. I really don't care, it just give me a summary of the copyright in the US. And what's really important is, what is copyright? In order to have something, you need to know what it is. In order to have a right, you need to know what the right is. Understand? So, let's look at it. You see here, copyright is a form of protection provided by the law of the United States of, to the authors of original works of authorship that are fixed in a tangible forms of expression. An original work of authorship is a work that is independently created by a human author and possesses at least some minimal degree of creativity. It's important. A work is fixed because that's a requirement of copyright. When it's captured either by or under the authority of the author in a sufficiently permanent medium such that work can be Perceive, reproduce, or communicate for more than a short time. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. What's really important is, so we know the requirement now. You can read the requirement here. Okay. But what's really important is what people most of the time don't understand. I can understand why they get a little bit confused. Copyright protection in the United States exists automatically from the moment the original work of authorship is fixed. So. As soon as you uh, meet the requirement fix or fixing, you have copyright. You do not need to register copyright. I make a step of video about that, but you do not need to register about this. You only register just to prove people that you have copyright. Most of the time that's important in order to save some costs by going to the court or prove something. But I'm not going to talk about it in this video, maybe topic for another video. So if you look at the document, they give this document give you a really good view of uh, what is protected and what isn't protected. Here you have some example. Literature works 
for example, book, what I told you in my example, those things are protected, but also music or sounds recording, all those things are protected. And so as soon as you create a book or a music, music is protected and sounds also. But these are examples that are protected. And if you create something and it meets this requirement and it is this, you're good to go. But uh, one thing that you need to make sure that there's no miscommunication here, we are not only talking about these things, examples. There can be more. This is just something that's in the law, yeah? And in this PDF, yeah? Because yes, I'll say, these categories should be few broadly for the purpose of register your work. For example, computer programs. So there are more categories, yeah? So, uh, yeah, what's really important is, so if you look at the situation, you have A, B, C formula. A is the, the right yourself, B is the person, and C is the third person that wants to use it. What are the rights of the copyright owner? So the person that has the right. What are those rights? Simple. Copyright provides the owners of right with the exclusive rights, so the only one person. Non-exclusive means, yeah, non-exclusive, you yeah? know? So the right to reproduce the work in the copies or final records, prepare definite work based upon the work. So you see, these are the rights what they can do, the exclusive right, only they are allowed to use it. Yeah. Because this is really important, because if you are the only person allowed to use it, you can give people permission to use your work. But if they use it without your permission, you can sue them because they are using your right without their permission. You understand what I mean? That's why you need to watch out for copyright online. Yeah? And what also important is copyright, what doesn't, uh, what is not copyright protected? Because most people think, hey, I have a great idea, I need to protect it. It doesn't work like that. Seriously, that's bullshit. The thing is, it's not about the idea, it's about the way how you execute the idea. I see a lot of people around walking around with idea, but they do not do anything with it. Yeah? That's their problem. But the thing is, you don't have any copyright or you cannot do anything with it. So, copyright does not protect ideas, methods, system, process, concept. Yeah. And what you need to understand is, this is in the US. In other country, you will, they will add things to it or remove some things. Yeah? But most of the time, this is the basic. Yeah. So, when you have copyright work like titles, names, short phrases, and slogans, those are not copyright protected. You need to watch out for that. Yeah. So um, when you want to use something, figure out what's the source and what is my situation. Like I said at the beginning, try to draw some things. This is the right. Who's the copyright owner of the copyright holder and who wants to use it? What is my position in those three situations? So if you look at the whiteboard, this is the whiteboard. We have A. Sorry about that, B and C. So this is the right, who's the copyright holder, and who wants to use it. So what are my rights, and what is the copyright? Do I have a copyright or not? And who wants to use it? What's my situation? You understand that? So make sure you understand this. This ABC formula is really important because when there's an exception, then you cannot do anything as a copyright holder. You understand? An exception is, for example, someone's assertion is an example, okay? or things that are uh, copyright not protected can be examples. Okay? So watch out for these kind of things. So if you look at back, watch out what's not protected. Who can claim a copyright holder? Copy. Who can claim copyright? Answer is simple if you look at this. Because if you look at that, then you see that B is a copyright holder and he has ex exclusive rights. So only B can do that. Unless B is dead. Unless B gives someone else the permission to do it for B. You understand what I mean? And you will see that also here, the copyright, and the, the person who created it. You see that here. When there's two or more, so sometimes you have situation where two or more people create the copyright, so for example, you and I, 
create something, we both have copyright on the thing. We both can decide what will happen with the thing or not. But we just need to make sure that we make clear uh, agreement between each other about the copyright or about the thing that we created. Most of the time when you work together with someone, you have an agreement. If you don't, yeah, don't be so stupid. Yeah. So, when you create something together, I will talk about that in another video, but this is just a video about the basic of copyright. Eh? But the person who can claim, the person that has the copyright, most times copyright owner of the copyright owners. Yeah, so I'm not going to discuss the whole document with you, you can read it. Eh? Terms, when can you transfer, how long does it last, I will make also a separate video about this. You can read this document, I will put it in the description or you can download it here. Eh? And then, yeah, that's about, the, that's about the basic. I'm not going to talk about how it works, how you can use it. The reason why I'm saying that is because you're a student and you, uh, most of the time you only think how you can use it right now for your prestige or for your university. If I'm wrong, just tell me. But in another video, I will tell you how you can use a copyright, but for different situations, for specific situation. And if you need to know about, um, if you need to know more about your situation, Feel free to contact me and I will see what I can do for you. So in this video, I just give you an overview of what copyright is and how you can use the ABC formula. I also explain to you um, what you can and what you cannot do with copyright and what is copyright protected and what is not copyright protected. You can use this document. I will show you the link where you can download it and you can use it. If you have questions about the document or if you have questions about this situation, feel free to contact me. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.